This old looking Russian kami block is my one night home in a tiny town of Sortavala, just a few hours away to the north from St. Petersburg. I found it on Airbnb and I thought it will be fun to show you this place because you know half of Russia lives in such kind of apartments. I actually lived in such a kami block until I turned 20 and there will be many things at this place that are exactly the same to the place where I grew up. By the way, if you want to see how Russian neighborhood looks like, I also filmed a video in my Siberian hometown basically showing my local neighborhood, so watch that after this video. The first thing when you enter Russian apartment is such kind of corridor. In my opinion, this is quite a small corridor, but whatever, it's, it's good enough, like they have something somewhere to put our clothes on, to put the hats on, the light, which is actually quite nice. And here's the mirror, and most importantly, <laughs> here is the place to sit when you take your shoes on. And also to sit when you are leaving for a longer trip, like literally, we have a superstition in Russia that many people like to follow, which means to sit down before going to travel somewhere um, far enough. Like I left St. Petersburg, I had to sit down, but I don't really follow this superstition. But first, let's sit down just for a minute, it's one of the biggest superstitions here in Russia. A small airport in Siberia. Also very cute Soviet like watch here. The key, by the way, to a Russian apartment looks just like this. This key opens the door, and this key is for the outer door, which is basically same for every single person who lives in this building next to the door. That's the domophone. Basically, if you have any guests, they will ring. And if you have guests, they will call you from the downstairs and you can open it by from here. Well, keep moving forward, right in front of the door, we do have such kind of kladovka. Basically, it's opened. Is it closed? I think that's opened. There's not much to say about kladovka, but in some apartments, people use it also to store all the clothes, especially if they have a lot of like winter and summer stuff. Now let's go to the most important room in Russia. In my opinion, that is kitchen. But before going to the kitchen, can you hear this such a musical floor? I was growing up in a similar building in Khrushchevka in Omsk and basically my room also has such kind of creaky sound which is not pleasant at all, but it's really hard to do anything with that because of the building construction itself. But yeah, here's the kitchen and it doesn't look so huge, but actually it has right enough space. The biggest thing in the kitchen is Mr. Holodilnik, the refrigerator, and you see a lot of magnets here, like some from Moscow, some from Tallinn, Estonia, some from Elbrus, it's also Russia Petrozavodsk, Arkhangelsk, Karelia, that's where we are staying right now. And Kyiv, Ukraine, that's cool. Having some magnets on the refrigerator is a typical thing, but this many, that's actually a lot. Let's see what's inside. Just a normal looking fridge, just a normal looking freezer. And here is something unique about the place I'm staying now, the Airbnb I'm renting. This is actually for sale. The thing that is inside wasn't in this bottle in the beginning. You see this one, I think you can spot it really easily. <laughs> it's something that we call Samagon. And yeah, that is Samagon 45%. And it actually doesn't cost much. This one is two American dollars. This one is like double price for double size. I actually think that this kind of stuff is not that bad. It should be good, perhaps better than the cheapest vodka. So I guess this one is electric oven and you can simply, yeah, you can just turn it on like this. I actually don't like the electric one. I either prefer to cook on fire, which is actually not that safe, or to have some like induction oven, which is much better than this. But anyways, a very typical thing for us to have a simple microwave oven, also a teapot, and here is the sink and all the kitcheneries. Like all the stuff you see here is actually quite old style. <laughs> I, I didn't see what is inside, so it's first time for me. Especially this one and this one, it really looks like your, I don't know, babushka's home. What, what do we have here? Oh, okay, nice. So also very simple kind of stuff here. And it's something what people typically have, like it's not something unique. like. <laughs> coffee here, I guess I can use it, but I don't really want some tea, very nice, very nice cup of tea. And I guess over here we'll have something bigger, like pots or maybe frying pans. And here we go, yeah, some pots, more pots, 
and more plates. And here are the frying pans. And keeping the stuff over there is so typical. <laughs> like my granny, my mother, they also keep the frying stuff in the oven. Well, the table over here is very small, but enough for two people. They actually have like four chairs if there will be a kitchen party that Russians really, really like. And also a very nice light. The last thing that I want to show you here is this, the radiator. And that is something that I cherish, that I treasure a lot. I actually lived about five years in China. And the thing about living in Asia, in Asian countries, they don't really have many of these things. Like in Beijing, they do have such radiators because it's getting very cold in winter. But if they have like minus five or zero degrees Celsius in winter, such cities, such places do not have radiators which is a typical thing in Russia and in my opinion such a good thing because it basically keeps you warm at home and that's very important. It's possible to stay indoors wearing a t-shirt or not wearing anything at all even in winter when outdoors it's like minus 25, minus 30 degrees Celsius. Indoors you will feel warm because of the radiators. Ah, and one more thing that is very typical for Russians. I think this kind of zanaveska, no idea how to say this kind of carton in English. It's somewhere you can see a lot around Russia. Like my friends, my families, especially you who live in Kami blocks, they do have something like this. Exactly this kind of white stuff, semi-transparent, that doesn't protect you from like seeing from uh, outside, but looks kind of nice. By the way, talking about outside, well, enough about kitchen, now go to the second most important room in the entire apartment, that is the toilet. Yeah, that is the second important uh, place in the Russian apartment, in my opinion. Three interesting things. The first one is the boiler, or how do you say that in English? That basically boils the water, and right now if I touch it, yes, it's actually very warm. You can see that it is in average 30 something, no, 40 something degrees Celsius, and uh, if I and if I'm going to take a shower, I'll have water right from this boiler. Typically, people don't really use that in Russia unless they have a problem with water. And apparently, in this region, they do have problem with hot water. That's why they have it. Like, in my hometown, we do not have a boiler like this. First, it's a little bit too expensive. Second, we have good supply of hot water already. And another crazy thing to show you. Actually, this one is very unique for this apartment i never seen it anywhere like that before so while sitting on the white throne you will be able to <laughs> see what's going on in the bathroom like someone staying in the bathroom from the bathroom you can see what is going on in the toilet which is insane like i understand why they did it because they had not enough space for putting this huge washing machine somewhere else but anyways the result is ridiculous <laughs> The washing machine itself, nothing really to talk about. And here is something to talk about. The bathtub, quite dirty at this place, is an essential part of a Russian apartment for me. Again, after living in Asia for years, I get used to having showers because not many Asian apartments have bathtubs. But in Russia, that's a very, very typical thing. And I actually really enjoy taking a bath after a long day. And in here, I'm not going to take this one today because it's dirty, but at home I really like doing it. The shower, the ventilation, the sink, nothing really special. And this one is again that kind of radiator, but that is modern looking like. This one is old style, Soviet style looking like. And it's actually much, much hotter. So let's go to the living room. And it's actually quite empty. Like, have a look. It's pretty spacious, like a lot of space here. But because this apartment is Airbnb, they didn't really bother to put anything here. Such kind of art here. It's pretty fun. Pretty nice to see. There's another one. The sofa, nothing really to say about. This one is quite soft. Um, I think that should be transforming into bed though i may be not right oh yeah so that is transforming into bed just look at this magic happens and here is two chairs which also might be transforming into beds but not these particular ones the tiny table the huge table and there is a lot to say about this kind of stuff like such kind of tables you know the ones that look small but then you can do something like this to make it bigger even from two sides there's from one side, there's from another side. They were so much popular in Soviet Union time because 
the space was limited and for us it was such a tradition to gather families together friends for holidays like new year or birthdays and in my family we did it too we had a table something like this not exactly but something same idea and we were taking it from the corner and putting right in the center of the room making it uh, covered by a beautiful blanket this kind of table might be very important for many russians very nice lamp again here's the curtain such kind of transparent one and such kind of real ones and of course mr tv actually let's um turn it on and see what do we have on tv today the thing about russian tv is this one and this one they go separate basically we do not have tv channels for now for in many families uh, we have something like um i have no idea how to explain but basically this thing brings all the channels to tv bedroom also looks quite huge and here's of course the bed in the middle which contains actually two single beds with very poor mattresses like it's not very good here but perhaps it it is typical thing for like old style soviet apartments the most typical thing here i had it my friends had it like the entire russia had it such kind of a cabinet that you can use a key to open and i actually without a key i have access only to this part of the cabinet so i can open it like this and see what is inside apparently nothing perhaps here yeah here we go some speakers <laughs> and over here yeah these two sections but here it's so hard to open without having a key here here as well and it actually was exactly the same at my own apartment it's crazy to think about it right now for me but in my room my, when i was a kid i had such kind of a cabinet but it didn't belong to me it belonged to my grandmother so anytime she needed anything from that she were just coming to my room no knocking the door just taking the stuff, which was quite embarrassing for me when I was a kid. Perhaps for many Russians as well. Whatever. Next to the bed, we have such kind of bed tables. What is it here? Nothing. The tiny towel. What is it here? Nothing. Okay, the radiators, such kind of curtains, such kind of curtains. And His Majesty, the balcony. Let's go to the balcony. Let's go to the balcony. Wait, let's go to the balcony okay so here we go the balcony again here is quite empty you only have i don't know fireplace an electric fireplace and a chair to sit many people smoke in here many people actually store their things here if they do not have the storage room or if their storage room is um full of the stuff a few more things to say about russian apartments the electricity sockets we have it like this that is standard for russia but we have a problem in old houses we do not have enough sockets so literally like count it like one two three four for a living room in my opinion that's not enough at all so russian people tend to use a lot of Udlimitili, that kind of stuff that makes us like able to use to use one socket for multiple devices and another thing is wi-fi in russian apartment wi-fi usually goes somewhere like this in the central part apartment or somewhere in the hallway if you like watching this video you will like watching this one too